Hey Capricorn, I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for September 2021 and it's for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and because it is general it means it's not going to resonate for all of you but of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs <clears throat> or you can get a personal reading. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. And this is Mannix, who's with us today. I've been having a hard time um, managing him, actually. And starting these readings, because he wants to sit like in the middle of the desk, not to the side. I put him there. So we'll see. Hopefully he'll stay there and not mess up the reading. All right, let's... Let's see, what's going on? Capricorn overall energy for first half of September. Okay, we have patience. Well, that's not fun. Um, but yeah, all right. Somebody either has been very patient or feels like something is taking forever and maybe is being called to have patience, maybe even just to have patience with your own self. So let's get into this and see. What is it that you are being patient about? Or maybe you're losing your patience. Yeah. Of course he wants to play with my little crystals here. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of September. All right, so for the situation, we have the Magician crossed by the High Priestess. Okay, so somebody's trying to manifest something here, but might be going about it in a way where it's not really in alignment with their intuition, or maybe this is what has been the challenge. Okay, bye. <laughs> the challenge may have been actually listening to your intuition when it comes to manifesting something here. So let's get some more information. We have the Page of Cups for the recent past and we have the Three of Swords for the near future. Again, roles can be reversed. We'll see what is going on here when we clarify. So, oh, okay, for your, for your energy, we have the Four of Swords. For them, we have Temperance. For you, the Four of Wands. For them, the sun, okay, and potential outcome here, we have the ace of swords, okay. So I feel like in the, in the recent past, there was either some kind of a communication where there was um, some emotions that were expressed, or even if they weren't expressed like overtly, you were able to sense this energy of of emotions being there okay and again it could be the other way around all right maybe it was you who opened up a little bit emotionally to this person maybe you reached out to them maybe they reached out to you maybe you just happened to encounter each other um maybe you are still in contact whatever the case there was some kind of an emotional expression recently um you I feel like you're healing. You're healing from something to do with the situation. I feel like you're just kind of resting. Um, I actually get with this Four of Wands that you're finding your own sense of stability, even though this is usually um, a card of, I see it like a celebration or a coming together. And it could even be that, you know, you do see this person as having been your person or feel like there's this soul connection that will always be there. However, at the at the moment, I feel like you're just kind of taking a break or and you're healing, you're healing. For them, they have a healing card here as well with temperance um, being here as well as the sun. Some of you might be dealing with, with Leo. Um, this person is healing as well. That's what this is coming in as. It, it could also be the patience that we are seeing here. All right, if, it, if this patience is for your person, possibly being patient for something. However, with the sun being here, I'm seeing this as this is how they feel about you. Um, seeing you as being the person that would make them happy. 
And for others, this is also them just moving more towards the healing energy. Why there's so much healing here? Definitely there has been something that has been happening that was very um, painful, apparently. And I feel like even coming up, there's still some pain for somebody here. Um, however, there is, there is action and the potential outcome. So let's clarify and figure this out. So let's clarify this magician with the high priestess. I feel like this is somebody secretly manifesting something. Alright, the Ace of Cups, the Justice card, Libra showing up, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is working on something here. Somebody is working on making something right. Somebody is working on bringing justice, making a decision. And this is all in the name of love. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like whoever this is that's doing this, I don't think it's you because I, I feel like, like I said, you're kind of taking a break. You're not really, like, being active in this connection right now um so i do feel like it's the other person unless the roles are reversed this person is trying to manifest this trying to make things right trying to bring some sort of a balance they're doing it secretly i feel like this is somebody who was having a hard time aligning who may have been going about this in the wrong way um in the past not really following their intuition i feel like their intuition is still um Part of the issue, really, you know, using their intuition in order to manifest what it is that they want. Um, so, I mean, this could have played out in, in various ways, like wanting you but being, um, you know, um, pushy, for example. Or because they wanted you, they, they were avoiding you um, or trying to make you jealous or just letting their ego get in the way, whatever, whatever would not be in alignment, all right, with how they truly feel. That's what I feel was going on, but this person is now working hard to, to bring some kind of justice to the situation. All right, let's see the Four of Swords for your energy. All right, we have the Six of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. All right, and the Five of Wands was actually in the middle, and it does speak to me in that way. So, you're taking a break from this because you feel like this is what um, what is good for you, and I, I would agree with you here. But I feel like you're a little bit conflicted because even though you're trying to find your independence from this person, you're trying to maybe even heal pieces of your own self, maybe, you know, recover from... Um, just your sense of self-worth may have got, taken a hit from whatever happened with this person. However, you do still feel the connection with them, as I said before, also with the Four of Wands. Um, you, you miss this person. You feel like, you know, this. there was something just really... Um, either something really sweet in this connection, or just you just feel like this is your person. And so it's a little bit conflicting to you because you you also want to be um, independent of them. And I feel like this is what you are healing, you know, it's like that, that tug of war between wanting to go back to the past, wanting a reconnection, but then wanting to be on your own. Not wanting to feel um, dependent emotionally on them. Let's see the four of wands. All right, yeah, the two of pentacles and the three of cups. I feel like for the most part, you are healing this, okay? You are recovering, and I think you're doing a very good job at being this nine of pentacles, being um, very self-reliant, um, finding your sense of self-worth, and just wanting, you know, demanding your respect, basically, for your own self, holding that integrity, because apparently something happened here. Um, but there is a little bit of a challenge 
for you trying to get yourself to not want this reconnection. And I do feel like, like I said also with this card, is that you're finding that stability within your own self. Okay, it's just a process. So let's see what's going on with this person here. Let's see temperance. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. We also have Leo. All right, so we have the Three of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, this person is definitely trying to improve themselves. They're trying to improve themselves. I feel like this um, this is somebody who might even be getting some some help from the outside for something maybe that was an issue for them. Um, Whatever it is that is happening here, though, this person has a lot of um, grief, a lot of sorrow, possibly even some regret, all right? Because, like I said before, with the sun, this person has a lot of emotions for you. I feel like this is somebody who wants, who would want to be able to work with you on something. I don't know if that would be um, career-wise or, you know, on a project or something like that. I'm getting it more of, it's like this person feels like you are their partner, like you are, you, you the two of you were a team at some point. And I feel like they think back on that and how well the two of you work together. And that is causing them to feel a lot of sorrow, a lot of sadness. All right, they do ha still have a lot of um, feelings for you. But again, there's something here that they are healing and I feel like I feel like they're actually the ones being patient for something. I feel like you were patient with them in the past. I feel like this person is being taking some time here for whatever it is that they want to do. Because like I said, I do feel like there's some manifesting happening that they're not being very transparent about. But it might be something that's a little bit slow moving. Let's see the sun. All right, and we have the seven of wands. Yeah, definitely this person is... Um, Putting up a fight here, they're putting up a fight, and again, it's also coming in as a blocking, blocking you out in the sense of not really um, showing you what it is that they're working on, what it is that they're doing. Kind of keeping it, again, it, it's it's keeping it to themselves. For some of them, there, there could be some ego that is also um, playing out a little bit, and that's why they don't want to tell you whatever it is that they're working on. Let me get one more here. The Eight of Cups, there's something that they're also walking away from. Could be anything, all right? It could be anything because it's definitely going to be different for each of you. However, there's definitely a sense of um, turning their back to something, having to put up a fight, and taking a difficult path in doing so. But whatever that is, it's very healing for them. I mean, temperance and the sun, this is something that is really going to turn their life um, in a different direction. So let's see what this Three of Swords is then in the upcoming energies. <laughs> Three of Swords again. The King of Wands and the High Priestess. I do feel like this has to do with them. I don't feel like this is you. It's the person here who is trying to manifest. Um, I actually feel like they're 
the fact that they are keeping away from you, this is what is heartbreaking to them. This is creating some pain. Like they know they're taking action, but the fact that there's this distance here, because I'm getting that there's distance for the most part. Um, even if you are in some contact, I feel like there's definitely things happening behind the scenes. Um, definitely things are not 100% transparent. And this is creating some some pain. It could be it could be a for you as well, but I mostly get that it is for them. And I feel like it's also in relation to them not having the courage to really be open about about whatever it is that's happening, <clears throat> and that they're doing this on their own rather than with you by their side. All right. So let's see the Ace of Swords. Ooh, okay, so we have the Sun, the Tower, and the Two of Cups. This is action here that is going to require for a huge, huge transition, a huge um, transformation. Something is really going to be um, blown up. Um, something is, I, I'm not even seeing it as a destruction, although it definitely could be. But whatever that tower is, it's not easy. Um, it's something that is like just going to be completely, completely shocking. I feel like there is some action that is being taken here from this person, right? The sun here showing up again. At once this person has healed, leading to the two of cups, leading to love. And I feel like it's going to come out of nowhere out of freaking nowhere and it's going to feel huge it's going to feel like wow like what just happened kind of like it's going to just like knock you knock you out of your seat you know that kind of a thing or just you might feel like the the you're just losing the ground beneath your feet because it's so unexpected So, yeah. Let's see, Capricorn, if this resonated, let's get your final message. I mean, and what you decide to do with that, I mean, that's going to be up to you. Because definitely I'm seeing this as being your person. Um, all right, so we have... Two, we have the new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. And we have the third quarter moon, adjustments are required. So I feel like these adjustments that are required, you already know that. And this is why you are probably just taking a break from this and why you're trying to, you know, keep your yourself separate from this person. Um, I feel like this person is really trying to manifest those adjustments, basically especially when it's together with this prosperity lies ahead, which you as a Capricorn as well, you know, that's important to you. Take it as it resonates. And I'm going to leave it at that. So Capricorn, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.